ഹായ് ഇന്ന് നമ്മൾ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് ഇലക്ട്രോ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ബൗണ്ടറി കണ്ടീഷൻസ് അതായത് ബൗണ്ടറി കണ്ടീഷൻസ് ഫോർ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ആൻഡ് മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് ഒരു മീഡിയത്തിൽ നിന്നും മറ്റൊരു മീഡിയത്തിലേക്കൊരു ഇലക്ട്രിക് ഓർ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് സഞ്ചരിക്കുകയാണെന്ന് വിചാരിക്കുക അതായത് ഇലക്ട്രിക് ആൻഡ് മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് ഏറ്റവും സിമ്പിളസ്റ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ട് ഇലക്ട്രോ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് വേവ് ഇലക്ട്രോമാറ്റിക് വേവ് ആ ഇലക്ട്രോ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് വേവിൻ്റെ പ്രത്യേകത കൺസിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ബോത്ത് ഇലക്ട്രിക് ആൻഡ് മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് ദിസ് ഈസ് എ മീഡിയം വൺ ദിസ് മീഡിയം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എയർ ആവാം ഫ്രീ സ്പേസ് ആവാം എന്തോ ആവാം ഇത് വേറൊരു മീഡിയത്തിലേക്ക് കടന്നു പോവാം ഈ സെക്കൻഡ് മീഡിയം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ദാറ്റ് മേ ബി എൻ ഇൻസുലേറ്റർ ഓർ മേ ബി എ കണ്ടക്ടർ ദിസ് മേ ബി ഗ്ലാസ് ഓർ വാട്ടർ ഇറ്റ് മേ ബി ദിസ് ഈസ് എ മീഡിയം ടു അപ്പോൾ ഈ ഇലക്ട്രോ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് വേവിലെ അതിലെ പേര് സൂചിപ്പിക്കുന്നത് പോലെ തന്നെ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ഫീൽഡ് ഉണ്ട് മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് ഉണ്ട് അതായത് ഈ ഇലക്ട്രോ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് വേവിലെ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ആൻഡ് മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ്സ് ചിലപ്പോൾ സെക്കൻഡ് മീഡിയത്തിലേക്ക് കടന്നു പോവാം ചിലപ്പോൾ റിഫ്ലക്ഷൻ ഉണ്ടാവാം ചിലപ്പോൾ പകുതി റിഫ്ലക്ഷനും പകുതി ട്രാൻസ്മിഷനും ഉണ്ടാവാം അതായത് മീഡിയം വണ്ണിലെ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ആൻഡ് മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് നമുക്കറിയാമെങ്കിൽ ആ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ആൻഡ് മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് നമ്മൾ ഇ വൺ ബി വൺ മാഗ്നറ്റൈസിംഗ് ഫീൽഡ് എച്ച് വൺ ഡിസ്പ്ലേസ്മെൻറ്റ് വെച്ചാൽ ഡി വൺ എന്നൊക്കെ അറിയാമെങ്കിൽ ബൗണ്ടറി കണ്ടീഷൻ ഉപയോഗിച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് മീഡിയം ടൂലെ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ഫീൽഡ് ഇൻറ്റൻസിറ്റി ഇ ടു ബി ടു എച്ച് ടു ടി ടു നമുക്ക് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ പറ്റും ഇവിടെ റിഫ്ലക്ഷനും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ട്രാൻസ്മിഷനൊക്കെ നടക്കുമ്പോൾ റിഫ്ലക്റ്റ് ചെയ്ത് പോകുമ്പോൾ ഇൻസിഡൻറ്റ് വേവിൻ്റെ കുറച്ച് പവർ നഷ്ടപ്പെടാം കുറച്ച് പവർ ആയിരിക്കും ഇതിലും ഇങ്ങോട്ടേക്ക് ട്രാൻസ്മിറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് പോവാം അപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ ബൗണ്ടറി കണ്ടീഷൻസ് അറിയാമെങ്കിൽ സെക്കൻഡ് മീഡിയത്തിൽ എത്തിയിരിക്കുന്ന ഇലക്ട്രിക് ഫീൽഡിൻ്റെയും മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡിൻ്റെയും ഒക്കെ സ്ട്രെങ്ത് എത്രയാണെന്ന് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഈ ഇലക്ട്രോ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് വേവിൻ്റെ സെക്കൻഡ് മീഡിയത്തിലെ അതിൻ്റെ സ്ട്രെങ്ത്ത് ഇൻറ്റൻസിറ്റി എത്രയാണെന്ന് നമുക്ക് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ പറ്റും ബൗണ്ടറി കണ്ടീഷൻസ് അറിയാമെങ്കിൽ ഓക്കെ ദർ ഫോർ ദ ബൗണ്ടറി കണ്ടീഷൻസ് ആർ ഹെൽപ്ഫുൾ ഇൻ ഡിറ്റർമൈനിങ് ദ ഫീൽഡ് ഓൺ വൺ സൈഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ബൗണ്ടറി ഇഫ് ദ ഫീൽഡ് ഓൺ ദ അതർ സൈഡ് ഈസ് ഓൺ Let me note down. So, uh, medium 1 is electric field, magnetic field, field zone, there are 4 fields in the area. Medium 2 is where is medium? That is the medium 2. Glass, conductor, insulator, dielectric, and the conductor, insulator, and the electric field. ഇപ്പോൾ മീഡിയം ടൂലെ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ഫീൽഡ് മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് ഒക്കെ നമുക്ക് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ പറ്റും എങ്ങനെ എന്തറിയാമെങ്കിൽ ഈ ബൗണ്ടറിയിലെ ദിസ് ഈസ് ആ ബൗണ്ടറി ഈ ബൗണ്ടറിയിലെ കണ്ടീഷൻസ് അതായത് ബൗണ്ടറി കണ്ടീഷൻസ് നമുക്ക് അറിയാമെങ്കിൽ ദറ്റ് ഫോർ ദീസ് കണ്ടീഷൻസ് ആൽ എക്സ്ട്രീംലി യൂസ്ഫുൾ ഇതിൻ്റെ ദ ഫീൽഡ് ഓൺ ദ അതർ സൈഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ബൗണ്ടറി if we know the field in one side adayidu namukku vera or example parayanengil konjoda clear aakkan vendiyitte 1 watt of power is incident on this glass 1 okay. watt of power ee incident wave inde power 1 watt aanu nirikka then how much fraction of the power is reflected 
and how much fraction of the power is transmitted to know all this kind of information this boundary conditions are extremely useful okay now to understand the relation between e1 and the e2 in the second medium consider a boundary separating these two medium look at the e media the number is on medium one this is the first medium this is the second medium a second medium or nine is supposed to be a piece of glass lamp or is a any kind of dielectric or whatever it may be the medium is second okay then to establish a relation between the e1 in the medium 1 to the e2 electric field in the medium second i consider a very small boundary separating these two media but i'm not an imaginary i'd let you read boundary number to consider here boundary day or a medium one little e bagum medium one little e bagum medium two learn now okay here the village is showing you number of you paper and a notebook in a paper and a print thickness of a very small thickness of a boundary number of a consider here and a boundary a boundary then it paper and thickness for that in a very good this mode how do you close to loop in a consider a flat closed path this is that closed a flat closed path now is in a medium one another to know e bag up that is medium two but what is the electric field? Medium 1 is medium 2 electric field. This is the electric field in medium 1. Okay, that is passing to reaches in the medium 2. In medium 2 in the air, that is mu 2 is a permeability. Sigma 2 is the surface charge density in the medium, E2 is the epsilon 2 is the uh, permittivity of the medium. Fields, what are the fields in the medium 1? Sorry, medium 2. This is E2, H2, D2, and in the medium 1, medium 1 has these parameters mu 1 sigma 1 epsilon 1 e1 h1 d1 b1 these are the fields in the medium 1 now to establish uh, to find the relation between this uh, our this electric field e1 and electric field e2 the two medium then we have the maxwell's equations the last class we studied the Maxwell equation inside the matter because the electric field is now passing through the matter. Okay. Those Maxwell equation uh, I will write in the integral form. Those Maxwell equations are in integral form E dot DLE is equal to minus of dou B by dot T dot ds actually uh, this i obtained from this relation del cross e is equal to minus dou b by dot t this is the differential form of maxwell slope if you apply stokes theorem this can be converted into the line integral okay. from this i obtained this relation and 
uh, i will use another relations also that is like last class we have seen del cross h is equal to uh, jf plus dot e by dot e from this if i apply stokes theorem i will get this relation h dot dl is equal to that will be the this will be the total jf converted into total current plus integration dot d by dot t dot ds ds is the surface area vector surface area uh, we had a two divergence relation that is del dot d it was wrong then if you apply the gauss's divergence theorem you will get this relation that is closed surface integral this is the line integral here this is the surface integral d dot ds is equal to q enclosed similarly the del dot b in the differential form of the gauss's law it is zero apply stokes sorry divergent gauss's divergence theorem to this expression you will get this is b dot ds is equal to zero but here we will use this relation to find the electric field in one medium if you know the electric field in other medium using the boundary conditions in this picture what i will do is i am looking for a relation between the electric field in the medium 2 and the electric field in the medium 1 okay for this I will use the, this law. I will use this law to establish that relation. Uh, once again, I copy that boundary here. Now I resolve this electric field into two components. That is, the component. This is the tangential component. This is a parallel component. Let me write this is as a E parallel in the medium one and the perpendicular component of this electric field that is E1 perpendicular. This is can also be written as tangential component. Tangential component in the medium one. This is this component can be written as perpendicular component or normal component E N one. Okay. Here also I resolve this electric field into two component. This is electric field two parallel component. I will use this notation also E tangential in the medium two. Here this is a normal component i will use this is a e perpendicular or e normal component in the medium two uh, this is a flat closed path so then the l is the length it means they are separate length length and its width this is the width of that part l is the length w is the width before proceeding to the explanation i will make use this notations that is if you find the at anywhere that is a tangential component of electric field and en means normal component of electric field okay now let us apply the first this uh, equation to this loop 
okay, because the line integral always demand tangential component. For the convenience of the explanation, I put a number to this equation. This is equation number 1, this is equation number 2, this is equation number 3, this is equation number 4. Apply equation 1 to the loop. That is e dot dl is equal to minus of integration dou b by dou t dot ds. If you apply this equation to this loop, this e dot dl, the dl is the small length element of our loop. Small length element is our dl. Then, if I consider a particular path, the path I choose is this way. This way. Okay. To solve this line integral. If I consider the first path, this one. Immobile path number consider the angle. Here we have the two components. This one is normal component of the EN2, normal component of the electric field. This is the ET to the tangential component. This component. Okay. This tangential component is parallel to this line because our path is taken along this direction. The arrow shows the direction of the path. Pivot number E DL number electric field in the vector E2 tangential component of electric field both are along the same direction. Theta is equal to zero degree. Whereas along the same path, if we consider the a normal component of the electric field that is this electric field that is electric field is along this direction that is e to n and uh, our path direction is along this direction dl this angle is theta is equal to 90 degree therefore here e dot dl will be zero e dot dl will be zero but here in this particular case both are in the same direction e dot dl will be e dl cos theta is equal to zero degree because cos zero is equal to one therefore in the upper path mogalilulla path le namukku engane ezhudan pattum to close to loop anengil e segment e segment the integration of the angle E, our electric field component E T2, like tangential component of the electric field medium 2 DL, okay, for the integration DL, integration DL, we integration DL, we have to integrate the length of 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 the length if we are going to the path, we will have the contribution of E side and E dot to DL. If we are E dot integration DL means EL. If we are going to E dot DL. E dot L. 1 plus 2, 1 minus. If you are going to be plus, you will be minus. That will go to cancel. The contribution from these two sides is zero. Okay, fine. Now let us come to the third side. E side in day DL length edadoshatekum electric field components. Tangential component of the electric field and the opposite direction. Length element dealing water, tangential component of the electric field, right leg. 
theta x is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, E dot DL or angle E DL cos 180 that is minus. Okay, that is minus of EL in the theta. Fine. E2 minus E T1 L. What about normal component here? Normal component means this is our normal component of the electric field E N1 and our length element is this direction DL theta is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, E DL cos 90 means 0. Okay, normal component do not contribute anything. Only the tangential component contributes to the, this line integral. What about right hand side? Right hand side you can see ds. Dou b by dot we cannot do anything. ds is a ds is a area of this slope. Area means length length is L and width is w therefore i can write minus of dou b by dou t or if i take the integral outside this is ds or if i write this is a l into w okay here you can see this l this l this l can be cancelled out and uh, here we have assumed the width is very small. This width, width is approaches to zero. We have assumed that this is small. Okay, this is small. Okay, this is small. Okay, this is small. small. thickness. Therefore, here the w is going to zero this w equals to zero that is shrink the path w is to zero thickness is very small therefore if w is zero the right hand side of this this equation will be zero therefore our equation will be e tangential to minus e tangential 1 is equal to 0. This is a first boundary condition. That is, I can write in this fraction also, that is e t2 is equal to e t1. Which means the A T2 is equal to T1 means the tangential component of the electric field is continuous at the boundary. Okay. Uh, this boundary condition uh, we have to electrodynamics one course. We have to add the boundary condition like power. But uh, isn't a transition component of the electric field is continuous nor in a physical meaning and then what would I do medium one and angle or boundary and angle medium one nil in them medium two will a for electric field and a cut on the bone and angle this is one this is two and then a tangential component cut on the bone there will not be any loss in the tangential component e t1 is equal to the normal component of the electric field that we will discuss later. That is the strength of the electric field in the medium 1 for the tangential component will be equal to E T. The boundary condition is the same as the class is discussed in the boundary. 
ഇപ്പോഴും നമ്മുടെ അതിർത്തി പ്രശ്നമാണല്ലോ അല്ലേ ബൗണ്ടറി ദിസ് ഈസ് എ ബൗണ്ടറി ഈ ബൗണ്ടറിയിലേക്ക് നമ്മൾ ആൾക്കാരെ ഇങ്ങനെ നുഴഞ്ഞു കയറാൻ നേരിക്കുക അതൊരു കൺട്രി നമുക്കിത് ഇന്ത്യയും പാകിസ്ഥാനും ഉള്ള എപ്പോഴും അതിർത്തി പ്രശ്നം അപ്പൊ ഇന്ത്യയും ചൈനയുമാണ് അല്ലെ ഇന്ത്യ ചൈന ഇതിലൂടെ പെർപ്പന്റിക്കുലറായിട്ട് കടന്നു പോകുന്ന ആള് ആൾക്കാണ് പ്രശ്നം എപ്പോഴും ഉണ്ടാവുക നേരെ മറിച്ച് അതിർത്തിയിലൂടെ ഇങ്ങനെ ഇതാ ഇങ്ങനെ ഇങ്ങോട്ട് പോകുന്ന രണ്ടിന്റെയും ഈ അതിർത്തിയിലൂടെ ടാൻജൻഷൻ ആയിട്ട് കടന്നു പോകുന്ന ആളുകൾക്ക് ഒരു പ്രശ്നമല്ല അത് ഇങ്ങോട്ടും ഇങ്ങോട്ട് വിടി വെക്കൊന്നുമില്ല അതിർത്തി ഇങ്ങോട്ടേക്ക് ക്രോസ് ചെയ്താലാണ് പ്രശ്നം നോർമലി കമ്പോണൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ഫീൽഡ് ഈസ് എ പ്രോബ്ലം ലാൻജൻസിൽ കമ്പോണൻറ്റ് ഈസ് കാർ കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് നോ പ്രോബ്ലം അതായത് അതിർത്തി കടന്നാൽ ഇവിടെ ഉള്ള പട്ടാളക്കാരെ വെടി വെക്കുന്ന ആരെയായിരിക്കും ഈ ക്രോസ് ചെയ്ത് പോകുന്ന നോർമൽ കമ്പോണൻസിനെയാണ് ടാൻജൻഷൻ കമ്പ് അതിർത്തിൻ്റെ സൈഡിൽ കൂടി കടന്നു പോകുന്ന ടാൻജൻഷൻ കമ്പോണൻസ് സേഫാണ് ഓക്കെ യാതൊരു പ്രശ്നമല്ല റിലേഷൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ എച്ച് വൺ ആൻഡ് എച്ച് ടു ഓക്കെ വി വിൽ യൂസ് ദിസ് റിലേഷൻ ലൈ ഇൻഡിഗ്രൽ ഓഫ് എച്ച് ഡോട്ട് ഡി എൽ flat closed path if i consider this is my magnetic field 1 the medium this is the magnetic field 2 resolve into the normal and tangential component h1 normal this is h2 tangential this is h to normal okay. in our path we are taking the length path in this closed path in this way but we are going to do this that is h tangential component matra survive this path we are going to do this here h Two T dot DL will be H two T DL. Normal component is going to be H two N dot DL is equal to H two N DL cos ninety. Because this will be the H two T N and this will be the length. It will be the ninety. Similar way. we have taken for the electric field case you can treat it here also in the same way therefore the tangential component will be survive i can write h2t l and the lower side this is the negative because here the theta will be 190 cos 190 is equal to minus 1 therefore that is why this minus sign h lower side we have h1t l then the right hand side current plus then what happened here ts is dot t by dot d by dot d we cannot do anything then the dot d by dot t this will be lw ds is the uh, area of this part that is that area is equal to l w now here this l and l can be cancelled what will happen here one l will come then the equation will be h2 t minus h1 t is equal to 
i by l plus dou d by dou t w okay here this w the width is width of the path is very small that is w tend to 0 then if w is tend to 0 our equation reduces to h 2t minus h1t is equal to i by l okay this i by l means current flowing per unit length that i by l is equal to surface current this is a surface current or we will say this is a sheet current okay if you see here if uh, this is our boundary and this is a medium one this is a medium two and if any current is flowing that uh, through the surface that is a surface current that is i can write this expression h 2t minus h1 t is equal to k that is tangential component of the magnetic field is not continuous zero iron angle zero iron angle h2t is equal to h1t and the other continuous iron and the other she would have a sheet current flow chain of the conda that is not continuous but it is discontinuous meaning and it is Tangential component of the magnetic field is discontinuous at the boundary. Okay. If you write in terms of the magnetic field, which means in terms of B, how can write you how can you write this expression? We know that B is equal to mu zero h plus m. If m is equal to zero, b is equal to mu h in a medium. This is the free space that is h is equal to b by mu then if the medium is one means h1 means h1 b1 mu1 h2 one angle b2 by mu2 that for this expression you can also be written in the same other way b 2t by mu2 minus b 1t by we want t by mu one are made of the primitivity t is equal to k next time we have to establish the normal component of the electric field and normal component of the magnetic field so far so far we discussed tangential component of the electric field and tangential component of the magnetic field one more thing I would like to mention here that uh, the tangential component of the the tangential component of the H is discontinuous at the boundary K. And uh, I would like to mention one more thing here also. Uh, if the two medium is dielectric, okay, I will write it as a special case not notice this one if both both the medium is dielectric it means our electric field coming and going into the medium 2 this is the medium 1 and this is the medium 2 and both the medium is dielectric. Dielectric means what is the meaning of dielectric? That is insulator. 
on the insulator there will not be any current therefore here k will be zero okay and if i consider field h1 and h2 also if the medium or oh, both the medium is dielectric here will k will be zero in the second medium also k will be zero no sheet current will be there because no free charges is there that is why no current is possible okay then uh, we can say that k is equal to zero then if k is equal to zero what will be the tangential component of the magnetic and electric field tangential component of the magnetic field h2 t minus h h2 t neither meaning h t2 neither neither go up tangential component of the magnetic field medium 2 minus tangential component of the magnetic field medium 1 that is equal to k neither but k is 0 either one this is 0 or i can write h t 2 is equal to h t1 that is tangential component of the magnetic field is now continuous at what condition if that if both the medium is dielectric okay that you have to be very careful and if one of the medium is conductor that is my second point in note if one of the medium is a conductor if there is a conductor one medium is conductor then the surface current will be there because free charges will be there then k will not be zero in that case h t2 minus h t1 is not equal to zero but equal to k that is uh, tangential component of the magnetic field is not continuous that is discontinuous at the boundary now let us see what happens to the field d and b boundary condition for b and d yeah, for this i will use the remaining two equations that is uh, i use uh, maxwell's third equation that was the third equation that the third equation was d dot okay, we can use first of this equation d dot ds is equal to q f this is a free charge enclosed Okay. now where the situation is the surface integral if i consider the boundary here this is a medium one this is a medium two our the electric displacement vector is traveling from medium one to the medium two we have to see the changes here also we can resolve this into tangential component e d t1 and normal component d n1 in the second medium this is tangential component e t2 normal component e n2 to find the relation between the d1 and the d2 we need to construct a pillbox pillbox in the sense since it is a surface integral therefore the pillbox should be like this one should have a surface area okay. that is if i draw it separately for more clarity this is a boundary and where I construct my pit box.
and this is called pill box okay and uh, the area vector of this pill box that is this is the area vector ds here the area vector is perpendicular to the surface of the area so ds now if you consider our the components here the tangential components we have the normal components we have the tangential components is always perpendicular tangential components d t1 is this one but our area vector is ds is along this direction therefore this will be 90 degree and in this expressions this integral equation d dot ds will be d ds cos 90 this will be zero therefore it is very clear that the tangential component does not contribute anything to this integral okay therefore we need to concentrate only on the uh, perpendicular component this perpendicular components now uh, take this perpendicular component here and the perpendicular component here perpendicular component is along this direction this d sorry d n2 here so here also d n1 because here the angle between both are 0 degree here the angle between both are 180 now let us come to this integration then for the upper side of the pill box this will be d integration of ds that is a surface over the of the pill box i will take it as the dot product is uh, angle is zero therefore this will be theta is equal to 0 degree cos theta is equal to 1 then in the lower side the lower side theta is equal to 180 therefore ds means minus ds ds integration of ds is surface area of the pill box is is equal to qf here also multiplication do i am very sorry this should be the normal components d n2 see here this is d n2 here d n1 therefore that has to be written here this has to be written here this should be d n2 this is d n1 therefore the next step I will write d n2 minus d n1 e c is equal to q f by s see surface charge density sigma e c is equal to total charge by surface area therefore uh, this expression right hand side I can replace by sigma d n2 minus d n1 is equal to sigma this is a third boundary condition that is a normal component of the electric displacement vector d is discontinuous by a factor sigma and here also the note is that if one of the medium is if both medium is insulated
then sigma will be zero okay then t n two will be t n one that is a normal component of component of dr continuous now there is uh, one equation left in the maxwell equation that uh, that equation is the surface integral b dot ds is equal to zero here the right hand side is zero therefore straight away we can write normal component of the magnetic field okay uh, if you are any confusion i will explain on this pill box at the boundary we consider a pill box okay and our magnetic field is this is our b1 and this is b2 in the second medium then this is b 2t sorry b t2 and uh, this one is b n2 and here this is b t1 this is b n1 pivot and okay now the ds vector in our our ds vector here this is our ds vector by the way we have to do this time we have to do the normal component we have to do the normal component because we have to do the b n1 the ds we have to do the tangential component we have to do the angle of pt1 we have to do the angle of 90 that time we have to do the 0 therefore straight away i can write here b magnetic field in the first medium here random same the same with another b n2 in figure random same uh, direction with another positive angle this should be b n2 okay a case is minus value because both are in opposite direction b okay what i need to assumption is area vector s no good coming s minus b n1 s is equal to zero that is b n2 minus b n1 into s is equal to zero surface area vector equal sir area equal zero on the left plus zero on the middle this quantity should be zero that is b n2 minus b n1 is equal to zero that is b n2 is equal to b n1 that is physical meaning is normal component of the magnetic field is continuous at the bottom okay these are all the four maxwell's four boundary conditions okay if we write together it is collect boundary conditions boundary conditions and their physical meaning the first boundary condition is e 2t minus e 1t equal to zero that is tangential component of e is continuous okay then the second boundary condition we derived h2t minus h1t is equal to k in the physical meaning tangential component of h is discontinuous the 
मूपूप normally component of the matter table e2 and minus epsilon 1 e1 n is equal to sigma so then the physical be name can write down normally component of the electric field is discontinuous we can write down this normal component of the d vector adapole ivide namukku cherdayite maatite edan pattu so nammal edithund h nu parna yenare namukku adane b by mu nu edan pattu b2 t by mu2 minus b1 t by mu1 is equal to कंडीशन normal component of the magnetic field is continuous okay these are the four boundary conditions these are very important jam iit jam examination ella varsham oru problem boundary conditions vechi chodikkarunde and derivation ningal padichu vekkam 